Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss 12 new Arduino projects for beginners. So, let's get started. Sometimes big and bulky projects are not always better, which is perfectly illustrated by this single button project. The goal of this project is to create a simple device with a minimum number of components. It has an Arduino Pro Mini, a 64x48 OLED screen running on I2C, and a small 100mAh, 3.7V battery to power everything. All these are enclosed inside a small aluminum frame, with a single button at the top. Regardless of its minuscule size and binary input method, it can still be utilized for a variety of functions, including as a stopwatch, or counter, or even to play Flappy Bird. Getting three functions out of a device with only one button is pretty impressive, right? This is an ultrasonic levitator. It uses the energy in sound waves to make light objects hover in midair. In contrast to magnetic levitation, the ultrasound method does not require a control loop to stabilize the hovering object. Using this levitation, the object simply lodges itself into one of the nodes of a standing acoustic wave. To make this, the transmitter and receiver are desoldered from the ultrasound module and placed inside a frame facing each other. The Arduino board acts as an Astable multivibrator. It generates a square wave signal, taken from the A0 and A1 pin of the board. The frequency of the output signal is about 40 kHz, which is perfect for driving the capsules used. An L298 motor driver delivers the current required by the capsules. You might have seen people using an Arduino to automate playing the Chrome Dino game in their browser. But this one takes the experience a bit further, where one Arduino plays the Chrome Dino game on another Arduino. The first Arduino runs a simple version of the game, which produces a continuous stream of randomly spaced cactuses at an increasing speed, and closer together. The second Arduino uses an LDR to sense each cactus, and then moves a servo to press the button on the first Arduino. This makes the dinosaur jump over each cactus. Cactuses are initially separated by a minimum of 5 spaces, and this goes down to 4 as the game progresses. The score is kept based on how long you're able to avoid running into a cactus. This is a simple air quality monitoring station that monitors temperature, humidity, and other gases in its ambient. A round screen is placed in the middle of a wooden box, which displays the measured values obtained from the sensors. The sensors are placed on either side of the screen, giving the project a decent look. After boot, you need to reset the Arduino for full calibration of the sensors. To reset the Arduino, a button is provided at the back of the box, thus you don't have to open the box to do so. As soon as the sensors detect any gases, it quickly updates the values on the screen. Do you want to level up your game of PCB design by working on high-level PCB projects? Or need features like remote working, advanced 3D viewing capability, and AMCAD? If yes then you must check out Altium Designer. Altium provides functions for users with all levels of experience and requirements. And before subscribing to Altium, you can use its free trial version by clicking on the link given in the description below. Sometimes measuring the resistance of tiny resistors can be very clumsy. You can even accidentally measure the resistance of your body and get the wrong results. So, to eliminate this problem you can use an ohm meter made using Arduino. The process to measure the resistance using this ohm meter is very simple. Just place the resistor in two spatial design superclips and that's it. The seven segment display will show the resistance in ohms. On the side, you can see the battery level indication. The screen brightness can be adjusted using a potentiometer. This is achieved using the pulse width modulation. The meter is pretty accurate and uses simple mathematics to calculate the unknown resistance value. Hollow clocks do not have any face, they have an open space with only an hour hand and a minute hand wheel. The hollow clock requires three gears for its operation. A reduction gear, a minute driving gear, and an hour driving gear. First, the reduction gear is set by sliding it into the 3D printed frame. The minute driving gear is directly connected to the shaft of the stepper motor, while the hour driving gear is held by the minute gear axis. This arrangement fits in the frame in such a way that the reduction gear comes between the hour hand and the minute hand gear. To make the design compact, an Arduino is directly soldered to the motor driver. Once the stepper motor is connected to the motor driver, and the code gets uploaded, the gears move the minute and hour hand wheels to display time. 
Cyclone is an arcade game where the player has to stop an LED scrolling around a circle, at a specific spot. The outer ring consists of 60 LEDs, while in the middle of the ring is a strip of 6 RGB LEDs, that actually represent the 6 levels. All LEDs on the outer ring light up in different colors, when the user turns the game on. With a big arcade button, it becomes easy to stop the rotating LED at the correct spot. There are a total of 6 levels in the game. The first two levels are easy with three static spots to stop the rotating LED, but after that, the spot reduces to one. As the user passes one level, an LED in the horizontal row lights up. The game speed increases as the user passes each level. In case of failure, the game starts from the beginning. Word jumbles are a great way to improve your brain's performance, and with this project, you can achieve it with the help of an Arduino. The game starts when the user presses the button, and a random word gets displayed on the LCD screen. Using a one-dimensional mouse the user can rearrange the letters of the word, which means the letters can be arranged on a single axis. To move a letter, hold the button and drag it with the mouse either left or right. The LCD displays a message, once the user correctly jumbles a word. To guess the next word, just press the button again and keep playing. This is an Arc Reactor CPU performance monitor. It plugs into one of your computer's USB ports and displays the CPU performance. A Python script reads the performance data from a hardware monitoring application and posts this data to the Arduino through a serial communication port. The Arduino receives updates on the computer's CPU usage every two and a half seconds and adjusts the pulse duration of the Arc Reactor accordingly. That means with an increased CPU load, the pulsing frequency increases. Aside from this pulsing indication, the actual load is shown numerically on an OLED display, giving a more accurate reading of the load on the CPU. The Arduino and the OLED display are enclosed in a 3D printed mount at the base. This is a smart Arduino digital meter. The ultrasonic sensor measures the distance and displays it on a 7-segment display. It even has a push button that gives you the delta distance in real time. When switched on, it displays the distance of an object placed in front of the meter. At that point, pressing the push button resets the meter to zero, and moving it from the obstacle measures the delta distance. The distance can be positive or negative, depending on if you move the meter closer or far from the obstacle. The push button can be pressed at any time to reset the delta measure. This function is handy for several applications, like measuring your height. If you have ever assembled a Lego car, you might know the importance of tiny parts available in the kit. The process to build them is often time-consuming, but once completed, it looks amazing. But, have you thought of taking it a bit further, by converting it into an automatic car? For this, you can create a circuit board, and control it via your smartphone. The controlling requires a simple code, that you can follow easily. The circuit board consists of an Arduino RF Nano board, and two motor drivers to power the motors. After mounting the motors on the chassis and connecting it with the circuit board and the battery, the LEGO car is ready to follow all your instructions. This is an Arduino audio metric device. Although it is not a professional device, it can be used for fun purposes. To make it work, you need to plug the headset in your left ear, and then start increasing the volume until you hear a sound. When you hear the sound, you need to press the knob that will allow you to check on the next frequency. The display will give you all the info required. After checking the left ear, you will need to check the right one. At the end of the process, you will see a graphical view of both ears. The red color represents the left ear, while the blue color represents the right one. This will tell you the quality of your hearing at each frequency. If you've made it till here, then drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Feel free to share your project ideas with us. Thanks for watching.